Interesting one, two, three. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is Engineer Masood Akhtar Kiani. And as usual, today we have the technical session number 180, 180. Our subject is deflectometer study uh, for the existing role uh, for the rehabilitation purposes. Uh, in, before going back, I would like to request you to Press the bell icon, like it, share it in order to reach the next video with the easy access. Uh, so let us go to the subjects. Uh, uh, the deflectometer study of the existing role is a research and the method of distress detection and evaluation of the maintenance purpose, deciding make a highway payment. Uh, reconstruction and the expansion of the projects. In this case, asphalt, uh, subgrade, subbase, and the whole pavement of the road, it is studied and give the proper uh, suggestion for the rectification and the maintenance purposes. Either it is constructed new or it is the uh, repair purposes. So we will discuss about this diffractometer study that what is a diffractometer study and how it gives us the uh, value for the repair and the what are the purposes. So diffractometer is the used for the falling weight uh, diffractometer. FWD is a device which is used to evaluate the pavement and the pavement layer stiffness. It is also a trailer mounted device that the operators by dropping the uh, free fall rates and the movements and the measuring the results of the pavement uh, deflection. So how to make the, def make the deflection for the pavement, which is the whole completely from subgrade to the wearing uh, course, it's a complete package. There are three primary types of the diffraction measuring method. Consist of probe, geophone, and the seismometer that measures the pavement's vertical movement, then the boom move, and the pavement subject to the loading from the weights by rolling wheel and the vibrator load and the falling weights, which is coming from a certain heights as per the approved method statement and the relevant standards also. And uh, number two, the deflection test guidelines are the using the testing devices using a deflectometer. In general, there are three primary methods of the conducting the deflection test. Static loading, uh, study the static loading and these uh, impulse loading. The following three description of the foundation for the each of these testing methods and their uh, shortcoming of these uh, benefits to achieve the certain data according to that data is uh, analyzed and uh, recommendation made for the repair purposes. Is there any code for the falling weights deflectometer? IRC 115 is the guide. Guideline of the structural evaluation and the strengthening of the flexible road pavement using falling weights and deflectometer FWD techniques. So, what are the tools of the measuring of the deflection? Deflection may be measuring by the cross load composition, a deflectometer uh, readings also, and the other displacement transfers to the a sensor. So sensor will catch the, all the information and all the seismic types of the waves and uh, it will to help to uh, analyze the uh, diffractometer study. So according to the ASTM for the light weights of the diffractometer uh, is, is a uh, weight devices which is a it is an instrument compacting control and the method of our designs of the ASTM E2835-21 in 2021. 
Uh, so this standard also tested according to the measure of deflection and the using the portable impulse and, and the loading device uh, as per the uh, TBBF STP yeah, part uh, B8. So what are the purpose of the lightweight of the deflectometer? The lightweight of the deflectometer is a portable tools and it can be used for measuring the bearing capacity of the deflection and the subgrade, subsoil and the subgrounds, uh, base layers, granular layers and the backfilling materials. And the zone of the influence of the test typically expanded to the between 1 to 1.5 times of the uh, plate diameter of the devices. So what are the formula of the LWD? LWD is a modulus of the evaluation using the static load test, which is a WD is equal to 1.5 R oblique S wheels, ELWD and the LWD deformation modulus, which is value is the R. R is the radius of the load plate and the a theta is the stress under the load plates and S is the uh, settlement load of the plates. So in this uh, graphically procedure, we will draw the x-axis and the y-axis. So the values will come uh, in the graph and the, from the graph numerically, we will calculate the uh, settlement of the distress of the road. Apart from that, there is a study on the top portion of the asphalt, which are the six types of the asphalt giant, which are the longitudinal giant, transfer giant, uh, alligator giants, and whatsoever. According to that giant also, we can make the study of uh, distress of the road and uh, how it's, what was the weakness and where is the weakness. Uh, so this is the a general procedure for the study using the deflectometer for the existing road and how recommended to a make a repair or a new road or only the milling of the top portion. This will be analyzed uh, for the repair purposes. But main factor, there are so many factors which can be considered and include in the study, which are the cracks types and the asphalt surface uh, and also the uh, segregation of the asphalt, rutting of the asphalt and uh, all other deterioration which are by seismic and by the load and uh, whatsoever it is coming by the so many reason it will be included in the data and a comprehensive report is recommended by the third party. So this is just the procedure for which we discuss about the deflectometer study. So thank you very much to coming on board and in next video we will see each other with another subject. Thank you very much and have a nice day.